Hi folks, this is the first in a series of tutorials on break falls. If you're a student and you want to develop your break falls, you're just starting out in Jiu Jitsu, uh, you should watch it from the start. If you're a coach and you have a student who finds difficulty in break falling, then again watch it from the start. If you're fairly adapted to break falling and you just want to get the finer points, just watch, fast forward and watch it from the end, at the end. Okay, so Jiu Jitsu is a, a uh, throwing art. So obviously we have to learn how to fall. We have to learn how to fall safely. And we have to learn how to fall without fear. So the important thing is, as we build up the, the break fall, we don't want to go too far, too fast. We want to get the basics right. So we're going to start off with the basics. We're going to start off with the back rolling break fall. The reason we teach this one first, and the reason why you should do this one first is because you're not actually looking at the ground. And that means that fear can come in. We want to get you used to break falling and you're facing away from the floor when you're doing it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to bend our knees and we're going to squat down. From here, we're just going to fall back. Just back side and hit the mat. That's it. That's all you need to do at the start. So again, back up, position, fall back, hit the mat. So you're hitting the mat with the flat of your hands and the foot of your arms. Here. Come back up. If that's too difficult, you can just do it from a sitting position. Back and then up. Once you're comfortable with that, we want to get the roll involved. So we're just going to work on the roll. So the roll is, from this position, you put your head to one side and your knees come together and to the other side. So we're pushing off with our hands and bringing our, our feet over. And again, we just build that up. One, two, three. And once we have that, we come right over the top. We use the body momentum to take us over and up. From that position you'll see that I have one foot forward, one foot back, my hands on the mat, I push myself up, I adjust my stance as needed, and in the fighting stance. We'll do that from a different angle. So again, the basics, down on your backside, just falling and getting back up, falling back and getting back up, falling and getting back up. Then, from here, head one side, knees together, and to the other side. So your knees are aimed to come over your shoulder. So the knees come over to here. And again, you want to get a rocking motion so your body works with you. And once you've got that, we rotate right over onto the feet, onto the hands, push up with the hands, into position, and into fighting stance. Okay, so. We've got the basics. Now we're going to do it from this position, from the squat position. We're pushing the hands down, we're putting it all together, push the hands back, head one side, knees the other side, and rotate and come up. And up. And again, bend the knees, push out, head one side, knees the other. And adjust your stance. Now once we get this and once we're training in a class, it's important we don't just turn it back and do a break fall. We need to check that the, the mat is safe. So in a class, what you do is start from a fighting stance, check the mat's clear, that there's no one in the, your area that you're going to break fall into. Then turn, bend your knees, put the top in the stance, and again, same position. Check the mats are clear, that there's no one in your way. Turn, bend the knees, put the mats over the top and into position. Okay, so that's the break fall, the, the basics of a back rolling break fall. You're not going to be able to do this in a setting where there's no mats, unless you can do it on grass or somewhere that it's reasonably soft. Especially to start. Once you become very proficient at it, then you can break fall quite easily on a harder surface. But what I would say is you don't want to build up any injuries or any fear. The important thing about when you start in Jiu Jitsu is that you learn the basics and work your way up. If you try to go too fast, too quickly, you maybe get a sore shoulder, you prick your neck, and it just puts you off. It's very important we take it step by step by step. Okay?
We're going to put a, a, a video series of these, so the next one's going to be a front rolling rifle.